to show you how to do this assignment learning to use Google Drive and Docs. I have two windows open here. I'm going to be doing the assignment in the right hand window and here are the assignment directions so that you can follow along if you want to. So the first step is make sure that you have the Google Chrome browser installed on your computer. If you don't, click on this download page and it will take you to the Chrome page where you can download for Chrome. It will know what computer you're on and download the appropriate um, version that you need. So the next thing is <coughs> open Chrome. It is important that you use Chrome. Uh, Mac users don't use Safari because although it looks like it works, you will run into problems with some assignments because it doesn't work as well as, as Google does um, and especially with Canvas. So I opened a new tab and I'm in Google. But the other thing you can do is you can open your email. Any Google tool that you're in, you will see at the top right hand corner, there's what I call a waffle iron. So if you click on the waffle iron, what you're going to do is then click on Drive. So when you click on Drive, it will, <coughs> inst it'll open your Google Drive. Now I've got lots of things in there. You may not have anything in, but what you're going to do is you are going to click on New and select Folder. All right. So it's creating a new folder for you, and I want you to call this Eduk 2004 20. 22 and click create. That will create in your drive a folder called Edic 2004 2022. And you will notice that I am viewing my um, Google folders in, in as a list form. It may show up as icons, but you're looking for this folder. All right. So I'm going to double click on this to open it. And now once you're inside the folder, click once more on the new button but this time I want you to create <coughs> a Google Doc. So you're going to click on Google Doc and once you've got the Google Doc I want you to type the words learning to use Google Drive. Alright and so you'll see that although I've typed this at the top of the document it says it's an untitled document. If you have something typed in the first line, as soon as you click on untitled document, it will fill in whatever is on the top line. So it saves you typing that again. And so I've got learning to use Google Drive. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is I want you to learn how to use the different formatting tools. And when we learn about accessibility, this will make more sense. But right now, when I have Google learning to use Google Drive at the top, you'll see that it says it's normal text. I want you to make that, so highlight that, and make that a heading level one. All right. So if I click off of it, here I have learning to use Google Drive. When I hit return, it returns to being normal text. So the next thing that you're going to do is to learn to share the document with me. So at the top right hand corner, you will see a blue share button. Click on that. And what I want you to do is to type my email address, hrallis at d.umn.edu. All right. It will probably show up and let you pick it from the drop down list. All right. So that's the first thing that you're going to do. And what you're going to do is it defaults to making me editor. I want you to give me commenting rights. All right. So my name is there, commenting rights. Next and important, it defaults to saying notify people. I want you to uncheck that. So if you uncheck, it skip sending the, the, the notifications. Um, the reason for that is I do not want to get a notification from every one of my students notifying me that you have shared something with me. So uncheck notify and then you'll click share. All right. I'm actually not going to because I don't want to share it with myself. So you click on the blue share button. <coughs> All right. When you're done with that, um, 
it will actually pop up an, a message and says, do you want to skip sending the notifications and say, okay, all right? Next thing what I want you to do is to see how you can share a document with the class, not just with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to click again on the share button. And this time, what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste the address from the assignment. It says this address here. All right. So I'm going to edit and copy that. All right. And come back in here and you're going to paste it. Edit, paste. And you want this time to give the class viewing rights. So not it's the defaults to editor, but you want to let them see it, but not be able to comment or change. And once again, you want to uncheck notify people. All right. And then click share. And there we go. We've shared it with You've shared it with me and you've shared it with the class. The next thing I want you to do is to add an image. And so find an image on your computer that you're willing to share. It doesn't matter what it is, so long as it's professionally appropriate. So what you'll do is you'll go to the insert menu, image, and upload from your computer. There are other places you can upload from, but I'll just do it for now. So I'm going to go to the desktop. All right. And I'm going to find an image that you, we can use. And um, I, you can also look at your images as icons. So if you can't find the image that you want to insert on the list, you can find it as an icon. So I'm going to select this one and click Open. So as soon as you click to insert an image, it will insert it onto your document. So it's too large right now. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to grab one of those blue corner handles and I'm going to drag it down. And the, the rule of thumb for uploading an image and putting it on the Google document is big enough so people can see what it is, but not so big that they have to keep scrolling. All right. So um, I've uploaded the image. Now, the, the, the next step that you want to do is you've got your assignment head it, you've typed a heading, it's got a title there, you've used heading level one for this, you've inserted an image, and now I want you to get the link to share it with me. So what you will do is you will click on share and you will copy the link. All right. So click copy link and then done. So once you've copied the link, the next thing you have to do is to submit the assignment so that you go into the assignment um, and you will click submit the assignment paste the URL into the assignment submission and click on the submit assignment button. As soon as you've done that, you will be notified that it has been submitted and you've completed your assignment. That's it.